In this episode, we're going to take a look at my layout template with the comprehensive grids for UTM and MGRS. So I posted this uh, on my uh, Mastodon account um, a few days ago and uh, I thought I'd made a, make a video on how you can use it. Uh, this is a layout example uh, on, uh, that I've created in uh, QGIS. So it, I have uploaded the code for the QPT file the mgrs underscore map qpt and you can uh, there's a link in the description for this video and you can go to the page and download the raw file uh, and uh, if you click the link in the video you will get this page so you i think you can just right click and download uh, download from the link so i will just uh, do, 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 do. I will click this one. Download raw file. And I've done it before, but never mind. Uh, I will use a simple QGIS project with just a world map. And I will uh, start in uh, Denmark, I think. Let's go to Denmark and create a layout. And it should be. I'll make it an A3 size. Landscape is fine. Like that. And then I'll take that QPT file, drop it on it, like that. And I need to set the layout, uh, the map ex extent to the to match the canvas extent. Like that. And now there is issues because the map is uh, projected or unprojected and it has to be projected. Uh, and it should be projected in a UTM system. So, but, but the layout will help me and uh, tell me that it's in the UTM zone 32. So let's go back to the map and change the projection and uh, you can search for WGS84 UTM zone, the, the relevant one. And they have the EPSG code 32 on the northern hemisphere. Uh, I think it's 31 on the southern hemisphere. And then 6 followed by the zone number. So you could just type in 32632 two, and then you will get the correct UTM zone. So select that like that, go back and again set to canvas extent and uh, now it is working. Uh, all this map uh, does it is a basic map frame, but it has a lot of um, grids. So there are 13 grids here, and then they, they are activated uh, in different situations. So for instance, it is scale dependent. So in this scale, you see that uh, the kilometer grids are 20 kilometers apart, the MGRS uh, letters are placed uh, around the, the the box boundaries. Uh, you get uh, corner labels. You have uh, lat long grids. Uh, let me zoom in a bit. And uh, in the bottom part, there is also a scale that is also part of the grid. 
uh, the grids. So when you zoom, it will change uh, scale here. So if I zoom in now, and let's go. Here you see it has uh, letters on either side of the box boundary. And that is because there are uh, more than two in, uh, in the map extent. If I move this, so there is only only two, it will change to uh, placing a larger letters in the corners instead. So this will also change dynamically. So if you zoom out, uh, it will be in one place. If you zoom in, it will change and be in another. Uh, and here you also saw uh, a warning grid line. This is to indicate that if you move uh, here, you will uh, go outside the set UTM zone. And that uh, introduces a lot of problems. So if you go over this border, uh, the MGRS grids will no longer be correct, for instance. And the UTM lines is not really correct either. So these are indications that something is wrong. So as long as you, your map stays within these boundaries, uh, then you should be able to use this um, layout without any issues. And uh, as you zoom in, see here now the, uh, the distance is 10 kilometers. Now it's five. And if you look at the scale here, and continue zoom in, and here it changes to one kilometer grids. And you can set the scale exactly uh, in the, the properties for the, the, uh, the map item. For instance, if you don't need the MGRS, uh, you can disable it. And that is simply go to grids. And here you can go to top corner labels, for instance, modify. So turn off the data defined overrides and uh, disable it then it will just turn off. Uh, and for this to work, you will need the LAT Long Tools plugin. And you find that under Plugins. And search for LAT Long Tools and install it. That's all. Uh, uh, it should adapt to whatever page size you are using and uh, for at least reasonable amount of scale. So for instance, if I continue to zoom in, we get to a point under 10,000, you will get helper markers for each 100 meters. Uh, but that's it. No more information than that. Uh, if you zoom out uh, beyond a million, it's not really helpful. Uh, so stay within, I, I would say, uh, half a million, then you should be fine uh, with uh, this, uh, this template. All the fonts in this uh, layout is uh, open sans and uh, uh, depending on if you use a different font, it may look a bit different. Uh, hopefully this uh, could be helpful for uh, at least some of you. And uh, I'll see you next time.